goes from femoral artery and it's advanced to 2 cm below the subclavian artery. And after that, the balloon is inserted on top of the guide wire. And a confirmation of the same can be done on the fluoroscopy if it is done in the catheterization suit or it can be done on the echocardiogram. So this is how the sheath ins insertion kit looks like. You have a sheath with the dilator. Then you have a dilator alone, multiple dilators you have in different sizes. Then there is a needle for puncture, the knife, the guide wire. And the balloon insertion kit consists of the IBP catheter, a one-way valve, a gas line through which helium is usually pumped into the IBP. It's a pressure line to monitor the pressure. A three-way stop clock. There's a balloon and the 50 ml syringe to in to deflate the balloon prior to insertion or prior to removal. Parts of the machine. Then this is how the sheath is inserted through the groin. The IBP is opened. Remember, most of these things have to be done in a jiffy, if not being done on an elective basis. So, the you should have the most experienced surgeon around when the IBP is being inserted and the most experienced anesthesiologist as well. So, once the track has been dilated with the different sizes of dilator, the sheath is inserted and once the sheath has been inserted, the IBP kit is opened, the balloon is deflated completely.